Arti Sharma. I'm mm-hmm. from Haryana, basically mm-hmm. from Karnal. And mm-hmm. uh, um, I used to work as a content writer, but uh, nowadays uh, I'm working as an IELTS trainer. IELTS trainer, very nice. So, yeah. do you have your own venture, or like do you work somewhere? No, I work. Uh, I'm employed somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, and what was your reason behind joining Clapping? Uh, actually, I was not getting uh, like anybody to interact to me. Like, okay, okay. I mean, you know, see the institute mm. where I'm teaching. So mm. here, uh, most of the students they just talk in Hindi. I mean, I have done my best. I have uh, tried to encourage them, but mm-hmm. it's not working. So the thing is that I feel uh, somewhere <coughs> I'm losing my touch. Uh, mm. from english language it's happening mm-hmm. and uh, recently i noticed that while talking to people in english i had to i mean look for the appropriate vocabulary oh you okay. know it happened so mm-hmm. that is the reason that uh, mm. i think that i just don't want to lose touch mm. from english mm-hmm. language that's mm. the reason that I'm... okay okay so for your own consistency basically so in your classroom like people are talking in hindi even though it's a ielts classroom still see um, most of the students that i'm teaching they are from mm. hindi background from Absolutely. hindi medium okay Got it. so mm. i teach them in english they try to speak in english they do definitely but mm-hmm. what happens that you know every now and then they just fall mm-hmm. back to hindi language and mm. even sometimes in punjabi language <laughs> so Yeah. that's the reason i mean and even though they speak i won't say mm. that all of my students uh, they are speaking in hindi or punjabi there are many mm. students who are very who have very good hold over this language mm. but uh, most of the students uh, mm. so that is the reason actually mm-hmm. okay never mind so in a particular yeah. week how many classes do you give like for how many days do you work i work for 6 days six in a week mm-hmm. and mm. yeah four days uh, i conduct classes you're in your classroom only right now as well i can see the chairs yeah, was, and everything i was uh, checking you okay okay yeah. so what is this students about students have left is it a writing task or something yes these are writing tasks that i'm checking okay okay so i think these students are planning to go to canada usa and different places all together yes Mm. so what's your teaching approach like do you have an like activity based Uh, lessons as well uh no because i don't mm-hmm. teach english i mm-hmm. train them for ielts exam mm-hmm. so uh, if i talk about this ielts exam so there are four modules reading listening writing mm-hmm. and speaking i think uh, mm-hmm. you must know right yeah, yeah. definitely so mm-hmm. uh, here here i mean for reading module so they just mm-hmm. have to uh, search for the answers right uh, okay. there are some paragraphs given and they search they have to search for the answers mm-hmm. so yeah sometimes i mean i we just give them some practice test and then mm. they attempt it and if, if they face any difficulty while attempting those so while appearing for the test so then i uh, assist them in the process okay. that how to okay. attempt these questions what should be their right approach uh no, for absolutely. one type of question and second type of question so mm. i just train them for that apart mm-hmm. from that when it comes to speaking module so i mm-hmm. teach them that for example if they if i ask them some questions uh, mm-hmm. so if they appear for the real exam so examiner is supposed to ask them some questions and mm. uh, i tell them that what should be the perfect sentence structure and if mm. they are speaking even well even if mm. they are speaking well so mm. what should be uh, like appropriate vocabulary advanced mm-hmm. vocabulary that they can use so mm-hmm. that uh, they can enhance their band scores yeah absolutely yeah. okay and uh, what are your hobbies like apart from teaching ielts classes and all what do you do in your free time so actually i uh, always explore myself mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. although i have many hobbies but i also try different things so mm-hmm. one hobby is of mine is that i think and my friends really say that i think really nice <laughs> uh i think well after okay. that apart from that um, i read i read some mm-hmm. books but i won't say that i'm very consistent at mm-hmm. reading uh mm-hmm. i mean i pick one book then mm-hmm. i some i mean it's very bad habit 
that <laughs> i before it finishes i just leave it because yeah. i <laughs> sometimes i get bored yeah so, i know yeah i yeah. apart from that i um, travel also mm-hmm. mm, but i haven't traveled much mm-hmm. uh, i have many places on my bucket list mm-hmm. so for okay. example mm-hmm. yeah so i have many places on my bucket list i would definitely mm-hmm. go there in mm. like 2 to 3 months i'm planning hmm so what are these places tell me which are there in your bucket list right now uh one is goa then yeah. kerala uh beautiful yeah uh kolkata calcutta calcutta yeah kolkata i suppose calcutta is the old name right so i think kolkata is old name kolkata is the old one yeah i'm not pretty sure <laughs> Okay, I, I'm, so, I'm also not sure about it. So, um, what all, what all places have you traveled so far in a in India? I've been to North India. I mean, mm-hmm. I also live in North India. So, mm-hmm. I have been to mountain areas, mm-hmm. uh, Masuri. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, only Masuri. And Masuri. I recently I have been to Jaipur. Jaipur, yeah. Uh, Jaipur is also, nice. also beautiful. Yeah, and uh, I have been to Amritsar. I mean, mm. I mean, not very. I haven't been to tourist places much. Mm-hmm. To be like very off honest, beat, offbeat places. Masuri yeah, is a tourist to... place, but uh, it's pretty decent. It's in Uttarakhand. Yeah, I'm also from Uttarakhand, by the way. You must have heard about oh. Nainital. Yes. Yeah, I'm from Nain Nainital only. Okay, that's nice. So, where are you residing now? Uh, as of now, I'm in Delhi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what about any international trips? No, I haven't. Not yet. I'm planning okay. for that also. Where are you planning? <laughs> Dubai. Actually, I'm planning. No, no, no. I'm planning <laughs> uh, to move to a different city for my uh, career growth. Different okay. country for different my country. career growth. Yeah. Perhaps you so, can go to Canada. um australia yeah. canada usa these both places are on actually mm-hmm. i'm thinking about like where to move so mm-hmm. what would you suggest canada or usa <laughs> i'm not pretty sure about yeah i think canada is good us you i think i think so us visa is a little difficult to get right us visa i mean see it depends i believe it depends on luck US visa certainly mm. depends on luck. But if you mm-hmm. get it, like mm. I mean, Life it's the best set. thing that will ever happen to you. Absolutely, getting visa, US visa is like a fortune. Yeah. Yes, Canada, I think it's quite uh, it's feasible. But if I talk about USA, I'm not pretty sure. If you go for uh, studying over there, then it's quite easy because now when you study there, you are just boosting their economy by giving thirty, forty lakh rupees for a two years course like that. Yeah, one of like a few of my friends are in Boston. They are doing okay. uh, MCA from there, and their fees is like forty lakh rupees for two years. So they got that uh, you know student visa easily, and they have two years of extension to get the job and everything, and then their company will apply for like H one B one whatever the visas are there. You are talking about USA. USA, yeah, Boston, hmm. yeah, New yeah. York. and uh, yeah. yeah so do you know anyone who lives uh, outside of india your relative friends anyone a lot of my students a lot of my friends they are living mm-hmm. in canada usa mm-hmm. australia mm-hmm. there are many mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. many right but yeah. uh, in terms of uh, vacation like where would you like to go for a vacation outside of india this is mm-hmm. paris yeah eiffel tower is there right Yeah, city of love. City of love. Paris is called known as city of love, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And in India, any particular place? I think you mentioned Kerala, Goa, and then Calcutta. Yeah, and in hmm. eastern part of India as well. I mean, yeah, like it's beautiful. Sikkim, Sikkim hmm. and all. Hmm. Yeah, that's also beautiful. Okay. So basically, you told me that you love to explore and. Uh, you have a lot of hobbies you keep trying new things right so mm-hmm. as of now what's your recent hobby which you have developed uh riding bike 
so in my experience i think people like watching vocabulary videos and uh, you know common uh, mistakes in english like grammatical mistakes or such in a, in a sentence so they love to watch these kind of videos because within a minute or something they can learn a lot of things right and yeah, if i talk exactly. about conversation i think i'm not talking about uh, everyone but a few people don't like conversations as such like you know general conversation so i think you should post some vocabulary videos because vocabulary is cool specifically like ielts vocabulary maybe and ielts vocabulary is also a little uh, advanced right formal words are yeah. there and everything mm-hmm. yeah i have maintained a diary actually so what i do is i read books i just underline the words and then mm-hmm. i maintain a diary so i have written down around 250 formal english words not the informal ones but the formal ones which are used in uh, you know it's you can say widely used by british people actually mm-hmm. queen queen's english because i also follow shashi tharoor oh he is my favorite <laughs> yeah i yeah, mean because it's my dream accent. i want to be eloquent like him <laughs> absolutely absolutely and he's so good with his language because he, he lived in uk for 10 years and uh, yes. he had that kind of environment and the kind of words he used in his uh, speeches earlier i think those words are absolutely amazing like you know yes uh, i've read his book uh, why am i a hindu so in that particular book also i found around 50 60 words which i haven't uh, heard yet so that was a good experience and uh, yes he's a great guy good command in english and his his accent is also quite different if you have noticed it is yeah. not an accent as such it is a way of pronun- pronunciation like you call it rp like received pronunciation you have, must have heard about it even received. the re- received 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 pronunciation that's not an accent as such i did a lot of research on that actually so david okay. cameron uh, the previous uh, prime minister <laughs> prime minister or president president or you i think in uk they have press prime ministers right my gk is like very bad okay whatever it is so david cameron he used uh, like he speaks like that like rp the queen uh, elizabeth she used to speak in rp and sashi okay. tharoor also follows the same uh, concept so he doesn't have a, uh, has a like a particular british accent but his way of pronunciation is different that's why i love listening to him So apart from Shashi Tharoor, is there any other person with whom you love to listen to, like specifically yeah. English? Yeah, is there, there are many. Else? There mm. are many. Uh, yeah. One is Palki Sharma Upadhyay. She uh, she is a journalist uh, on okay. Beyond Channel. Oh yes, yes, yes. I know that lady. Yeah, Beyond yeah. Channel. Yeah. Oh my God. She she it see see. the thing about her that she doesn't use any fancy words or vocabulary but still the way she speaks the way she delivers her speech that is like beautiful i, I don't Sharma. think that are, we both are talking about the same girl same lady we, no we, we because the Gravitas, girl that i am yeah gravitas i'm talking i'm she talking uses. about that she uses some time like depending on the kind of video you're watching so yeah. as far as i have watched her videos i think the vocabulary was pretty decent for an advanced learner but yes still the delivery is pretty amazing yeah i mean the way she delivers her intonation mm. and you know uh, there are some puns that she yeah yeah so puns yeah she delivers mm-hmm. that's also amazing mm. so other than that i also watch coffee with karan i mean uh, casual like, conversation yeah casual yeah. conversation mm. I watch uh, interviews of celebrities, mm-hmm. uh, speeches of celebrities. Mm-hmm. So you get to learn along with mm-hmm. along with the entertainment part. You also get information. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. in celebrities, I have heard uh, Shah Rukh Khan once in a TED talk, and uh, yeah. R Madhavan, R Madhavan, the actor from that movie. Which movie? Yeah, was I okay. know. Three Idiots, right? Yeah. So he also speaks pretty well, actually. Yes, he does. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, do you listen to any particular podcast in your free time? Mm, sometimes I listen to Jay Shetty's podcast. Yeah, I, w- I was about I mean, to come. I was about to come to that only because I listen to him like most of the times. Jay Shetty on uh, purpose. I also listen to uh, Ranveer. He Ranveer I mean, Alabadia. Yeah, yeah. The Ranveer show. 
Yeah, he's all, he's he's also like pretty good because in India he has the best podcast channel because the kind of guests he invited invites in his show they're yeah. like from different background different uh, from different backgrounds having different uh, knowledge knowledge you know? and you know you won't get bored uh, mm-hmm. even if you're watching that one hour podcast mm-hmm. you won't get bored absolutely and if i talk about jay shetty also he also has a different uh, set of guests like he mm-hmm. usually calls people from the entrepreneur like background and spirituality and everything mm-hmm. right so he told me that you are also into meditation like do you meditate on a regular basis or like sometimes recently yes on regular basis okay so what is the idea of meditation like what is the definition of meditation in your experience what do you understand by meditation what i feel meditation is calming your mind for sure. example if you um, are experiencing some chaos in your life mm-hmm. and even if for example if right now i want to meditate so uh, i'll just close my eyes and then i'll shut all the sounds that are happening around me okay whatever is happening around me i'll just avoid mm-hmm. and then i'll just focus here in the middle of the two eyes i'll just mm-hmm. focus here right okay. this focal point it is called focal point here yeah. right mm-hmm. and uh, then i'll just put some soothing music try mm-hmm. to focus try mm-hmm. to so i'll mm-hmm. answer myself that mm-hmm. this is not important mm-hmm. for example if someone is bothering me at my workplace mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. and while meditation okay while mm-hmm. if i meditate so mm-hmm. that thing definitely comes up mm-hmm. meditation is not like shutting your thoughts Absolutely. meditation is answering yourself mm-hmm. answering your answering- questions answering yeah right? asking a question to answering yourself whatever, and then answering it and then answering it mm. yeah. that's I think what the, i believe in the definition which you just explained i think i had the same kind of understanding of meditation so whenever i have these kind of conversations with people they usually say that sir i don't uh, like meditation as such because it's really difficult to do so i al- i always tell them you know it, it, there is nothing to do not at all difficult yeah, yeah you don't have to do everything anything you just have to focus you just have to be in the center of your being basically focus on your breath yeah. or maybe chant a mantra whatever helps for you but yes it's a profound uh, experience because i've been doing it uh, for about 2 years now yeah and i am like regularly doing it so i had yeah. a different kinds of experience i'll tell you so i used to watch uh, i used to you know see this mountain a river whenever i used to meditate this thing this image used to come in front of my eyes it kept coming for about a month or so so now i have the same tattoo i got it tattooed on my body that same oh uh, image, yeah i have a mountain tattoo on my back so i was like really spiritually connected with that thing so i thought i should get a tattoo <laughs> because i also love to travel to different places and everything so maybe that was so it was quite meaningful for, meaningful for me that particular tattoo mm. yeah so yeah meditation is definitely life changing like you told me uh, if you meditate in the morning uh, your day goes like really smooth you're not that reactive people yeah. can't provoke people can't provoke you yeah, yeah. quite I mean, easy it's been later than happening with me uh, mm. i mean i was not very consistent Uh, uh-huh. in this meditation thing uh-huh, but uh-huh. nowadays i am and mm-hmm. it's really happening uh, it really is helping me whatever mm. happens around me it's not bothering mm. me anymore uh, even if it does i just calm my mind it just takes me 10 seconds you know you mm. won't believe it just takes 10 seconds i just breathe in breathe out and then everything is just yeah i'm mm. again a calm person it totally, it totally cleanses your soul you know in a different way yeah yeah so meditation is great definitely but people don't understand the value of it because they haven't tried it as such and they just try it for 5 minutes and they think oh no no this is time this is wasted of time we'd rather watch something online <laughs> so uh, there are different there are certain approaches to do mm-hmm. anything right so if you are not uh, like following the right approach mm-hmm. 